Larry, this this makes no sense wh whatsoever. It seems like there's a real movement behind Obama right now, uh, real excitement, a real desire for change. Oh, please, John. It's the primaries. Just relax. Americans are only voting for the chance to vote for a black president. <laughs> you see, once they get to the general election, I think they'll find a 73-year-old white Republican is just about the kind of change they're ready for. <laughs> It's a funny line. It's also what's being expressed by a lot of people, a lot of African Americans. And it really is a serious question. If and when push comes to shove, can Barack Obama really win the white vote? I want to share a trend with you. Take a look at this. In states with less than 6% black voters, Obama does well. In states with 17% or more black voters, Obama also does well. But anything in between, not so good. Not so good at all. Now, the writer who's been tracking this trend gets the credit for it is David Sirota. He's a senior editor for In These Times. David, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, you've been getting a, you've been getting a lot of heat for saying this, because what you're doing is you're essentially saying, look, this thing could be black and white, which a lot of people don't want to talk about. Uh, and, and most people will get the more than 17%. If a state has more than 17% black population, Obama will probably do very well. What I don't get, and probably what a lot of other people won't get who are watching us now, is why in states with less than 6% African American voting population, would he also do well? Well, I think it has to do with the idea that, that black-white racial politics doesn't really exist in those states. In states like where I am, I'm in, I'm in Colorado, black-white racial politics really is not part of the political dialect. So. The Hillary Clinton campaign's efforts to, to inject race into the campaign has had less traction. And so I think Obama has done, done quite well in those states where, where black-white politics just is not really a factor, especially so, not a factor so in the Democratic primary. You're saying in states where there aren't a lot of African Americans, people don't think about it enough and an African American is more acceptable to them. And obviously in a state with a lot of African Americans, an African American is more acceptable as well. It's that, it's that place in the middle where there's 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 what an antagonism no i would say that that black white racial politics exists in those states but the black vote isn't big enough to counter a racially motivated white vote hey and let I, me let me ask you this question by this trend which states will he now do better in that in the past democrats traditionally wouldn't do so well in well, I think he. I think he'll do. He'll he'll do well probably in a place like in a place like Iowa. I think he could do very well in a place like in a place like Colorado. In and the I general. In the general. In, election. In, in the general election, yes. And I certainly think he could do very well in Virginia, which the Democrats have lost, and Louisiana. He, I think, would be would be competitive. I don't know if he could win it, but he'd be more competitive. That, that's interesting. Which states will he do worse than perhaps Democrats would normally do? Right, I think he would have a, ha, he's going to have some trouble in places like uh, Ohio, which Democrats haven't won but have said that they need to win. And I think he'd have some more trouble than perhaps a traditional Democrat in a place like Pennsylvania. Both states that have less than 6% African American? Both, both states that have more than 6% African Americans but less than 17% in that chasm. That's fascinating. But here's one for you. What about the South? Because the South traditionally has been voting Republican across the board. But there are places in the South where they're not just 17% African American uh, voting population. It's much more than 17%. Doesn't that, wouldn't that give him a shot that uh, a, a Democrat wouldn't have had in the past? Well, you might think so. And I, and I think, again, I think Louisiana, he could be more competitive in than, than another Democrat. But here's the thing in well, the South. Well, what about Mississippi and Alabama and Georgia, Carolina? Right. Here's the, here's the thing in the South. Uh, political scientist Tom Schaller has found that as the percentage of the black vote rises in a general election, the percentage of the white vote voting for Republicans actually goes up. There's a correlation. The larger the black population, the more unified the white population has been, especially in deep South states, in voting for Republicans. Let me ask you, is this a net loss for him as you see it? Or will it be a net win for him? Were he to be uh, the presumptive candidate of the Democratic Party, this 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 trend 
that you and others may be seeing? Really, really, really hard to say. What I can say is that general election polls suggest what Obama has said, is that really what we know is that the map really could change, that the states that are most contested could change. You could have states that Ohio could be, for instance, less contested, and Colorado and Iowa could be more contested in the general election. Uh, this is absolutely fascinating. The idea that red and blue, that most of us who follow this have in our minds, is going to be completely flipped on its side. David, thanks so much for bringing this to us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. 